Hey friends, welcome to another video. Today I am going to be painting this portrait of this lovely pup. This was a custom commission that I got to do of a lovely pup named Willow. So I wanted to talk about something that might hit kind of close to home for a lot of artists. And basically it's, are you scared of people not liking your artwork? Right? Even if that kind of just felt a little squirmy inside, even just hearing that, it might ring a little true to you. And I think it rings true for almost every artist at some point in their journey. And maybe you feel it multiple times throughout your journey. It's natural. But I wanted to talk about that. So when you're first starting out, it can be really scary to put your art into the world because you might be scared of people not liking it. And this, you know, might be posting it on social media for the first time, or maybe you're doing something like YouTube. Maybe you're trying to sell your artwork. Tons of different ways that you can share it. It can be really scary to start, or even the first time that you actually want to try selling your artwork or offering custom commissions like the one I'm painting here. Putting things out for the first time can be really scary because it's a huge act of vulnerability when you think about it. You're pushing something out into the world that you spent a lot of time and energy on and you kind of poured your heart and soul into it. And it's only natural to get a little nervous about what people might think, right? So I'm going to tell you something that might kind of scare you a little, but it's actually the most liberating thing. So here's the harsh yet freeing reality of being an artist or really being anyone that puts content out into the world, whatever that may be. Here's the reality. Not everyone is going to like your artwork. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> Not everyone will like your artwork. And that's actually an amazing thing. Okay, so we're going to unpack this a little bit because... That might seem kind of contradictory. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> Not everyone's gonna like your artwork? How is that a good thing? But it actually is. So let's kind of dig in. Not everyone will like your artwork, and this is actually a great thing. So I want you to think of something that you adore. Doesn't necessarily have to be artwork, it can be anything. For every person that absolutely loves that same thing that you do, there's going to be someone on the opposite side of the spectrum. But that's okay. That thing that you love, it aligns with you. And we are all unique individuals that have our own perspectives, our own interests, all that good stuff. So it's impossible to have something that every single person on this planet is going to like. And that's okay, right? You're going to find people that are going to love your artwork. They're going to really resonate with it. And it's just going to click for them. Amazing, right? And then there's going to be people that are kind of, you know, your artwork isn't for them. And that's okay, because there's going to be somebody else's artwork out there that is for them. So when I really started internalizing and understanding what this meant, because I've definitely gone through phases in my own artist journey where I'm scared of people not liking my artwork because like I said before, you put a lot of time, energy, love into your artwork and putting it out there is a vulnerable act and nobody wants to feel rejected or icky or not liked, but it's a reality of what we're doing. So if you actually come to understand that there's going to be people out there that aren't really for your artwork but there's going to be other people that love your work. It makes it that much more easy to actually push through that fear of people not liking your artwork and keep doing what you're doing because your people that are going to love what you create, they're out there. And, you know, the worst case scenario here is you let that fear actually hold you back entirely and you don't put anything out there at all. You never actually start to grow a following for your art, your artwork or grow an art biz or anything that you want to do with your artwork. Really, the worst case scenario is letting that fear control you and not putting artwork out into the world. 
And really, when you think about it, what a shame that would be, right? This artwork, as the artists, at least for me, it makes me feel alive. I love creating art. And I'm willing to bet that you do too. So if we let that fear kind of control what we're doing, it's going to end up adding, you know, a little bit of a negative lens to our art creation process. And that, you know, such a shame. We want this beautiful thing that we're doing to really shine and add beauty to our life and beauty to other people's life. And the thing is, is art adds so much beauty to the world in a physical sense, but also on an emotional level. Art is so much more than brush strokes on a canvas. It can tell a story. It can, you know, move people's emotions, all that good stuff. So keeping that all locked down inside because you're scared of people not liking your artwork, you're kind of doing the world a disservice. So it's definitely a different way to think about, you know, the whole argument of not wanting to share your art with the world because you're scared of what people are going to think. So you might find yourself kind of thinking here, it's like, okay, I can definitely see how I might be a little scared to share my artwork. And maybe you're realizing that you actually want to step past that fear and you want to be able to push your art out into the world and add beauty to the world that it so desperately needs, but you're not really sure how to go about doing it. Well, it's it can be a bit of a long journey to find love in your art, especially consistently, but it's a journey that's made so much easier with a little bit of intention. So whenever I kind of find myself a little scared of putting my artwork out into the world or even kind of falling out of love with my own art, some of the things that I do are kind of take it down to brass tacks, take a step back and look at my artwork for what it is. And usually what I try to pay attention to is the joy that it adds to my life. So typically you're going to be creating artwork of things that you like. And if you're not, (laughs) I'm not sure what you're doing, but the art process is made so much more better and just more easy and enjoyable if you're creating artwork that you like. And sometimes that means creating art of things that you like. So I love nature and wildlife. So I paint a lot of nature and wildlife. So when I'm falling out of love with that process and feeling kind of scared of being judged or people not liking my artwork, I remind myself of that love that I have for the subject that I'm creating art of and really try to embrace that passion, right? There's a reason why you like it. And if you shine a light on that sort of aspect of your artwork, going in deep with that emotional pull that it has for you, it's going to remind you that what you're doing is really powerful and it's, it's a simple thing, but acting with a little bit of intention, even if it's that like inner mindset game when it comes to your art can be a huge game changer. Art is so wonderful and it adds a beauty to our lives, adds that spice. It gives us a creative outlet for our energy what an amazing thing, right? So maybe this is resonating with you. Being scared of people not liking your artwork is natural. It's part of the process, but it doesn't have to hold you back. It doesn't have to be a roadblock that halts you in your tracks and you can push past it. And the art process and your art journey in general is going to be made so much more better and passionate for it if you push through. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully this kind of got your brain turning a little bit. Let me know if there's certain thoughts that come up here or maybe you currently are kind of scared of sharing your artwork with the world because you're scared people won't like it. Well, leave me a comment and we can start a conversation about it. And remember, you are not alone here. This is a very natural thing to go through, but being able to step past it and embrace that love in your artwork is going to be a total game changer. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.